Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sonia and in today's video I'm going to be trying out two different straightening irons and before we get started, guess which side of my head is the drugstore, left or right? Leave it in the comments down below, no cheating, and let's get started. So first up, I did wash my hair. It's damp right now. I'm trying to let it air dry as much as possible to avoid more heat damage. I did wash my hair using two products from OGX. I think that's the how they spell or how they say their name, right? I don't know. It says Beauty Pure and Simple. This is actually from the Candy Johnson collection. Um, this scent in particular is Candy Gumdrop and it smells amazing. Now this is not the most hydrating, um, leaving your, your hair feeling super soft product. It does smell really, really good. It leaves my hair super shiny and feeling squeaky clean. With that said, I do have to add some moisturizer to the ends of my hair because they're feeling a little bit on the dry side. <laughs> Now's the time that you have been waiting for to compare both Drugstore and Lux brands as far as the straightening irons go. I am going to be doing this for blow dryers and also a curling iron. So if you guys want to see that sooner than later, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and then also let me know which one you would like to see first in the comments down below. Now the ones that we are going to be battling today to see, you know, pretty much which one is better and if the drugstore can hold up with the Lux brand. So I'm gonna show you my drugstore first. I'm gonna start going over my hair on this side and I can actually hear every part of my hair running through the plates, but it's actually getting the job done. As you can see, my hair is becoming more shiny and more straight. Now, if you have a lot of thick hair or curls in your hair or waves and texture in your hair, I would definitely recommend, you know, sectioning off your hair with clips and start from the bottom and move to the top. I have long, thin hair and I am kind of more thin here on my temples than I am anywhere else. So it's really, really thin here. So I can just get away with not having to part. But as you can see, it's super shiny and super straight. Now it's actually really, really, really hot. Now when I get to the bottom parts of my hair, I give it a little bend to style the ends because my hair is so crispified on the ends from dyeing and um, you know curling, straightening it, what have you. It starts to get really crispy. So on this side, as you can see, it has a lot of movement. It's really soft and really super shiny. On this side that has not been tested or touched, it's very stiff and it's not cute. Now I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my GHD styler and get to work on this side. So you can see how shiny my hair got, how like soft and flexible my hair is after just a few passes in that section alone. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my curling or a little bit of a style at the ends of my hair. So if you don't have naturally beautiful, strong, beautiful, silky, perfect, fabulous hair, like I do not, um, you have to do some little tricks. And my biggest trick is taking care of my ends because if you've ever seen a girl with crazy looking hair, almost 100% going to be the ends. I've seen some really fried blonde hair. I've seen some really fried red hair. I've seen some really fried black hair. Every single time I look in the mirror, I have to say that I cover it up by doing this technique alone. Now let's compare the facts. First off, of course, the most obvious would have to be priced. The Remington is at $16 and the GHD is at $250. Now you'd have to do your research and probably dig up a promo code if you want to save some additional money there. I didn't use Cartwheel or anything like that. It was just marked as is at Target and it was $15.99. So, hey, give it another cent, $16 over at Target. Now they're both the same size. They're both one inch ceramic hairstylers or straighteners. I definitely would not use the Remington to curl my hair because it drags too much and you might burn your hair. Not sure your skills, but for me, I've been 
curling my hair with a flat iron for years and I've only used GHD products. I tried Chi and other stylers like that and it just did not work. I burned my damn hair, so trust me girl, don't do it. Both of these flat irons have a two year warranty, so if they break down, you can send it to the manufacturer and they should send you back a new one or refurbished one or a fixed one. Don't know how that goes because if it breaks down, I'm throwing it in the trash, throwing a couple of cuss words on top of it and moving on with my life. The Remington side has more shine than the GHD Platinum side. I was completely blown away. Now that's exactly what you want. You want straight hair and you want some shine. And that's exactly what I got on this side. So I was pleasantly surprised that the Target brand actually did better than the Lux brand. So I'm so happy to report and so happy to encourage you guys to save your money and go with the more affordable one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to like, share, and also subscribe to my channel if you have not already joined my family. Also leave me your thoughts, comments, and requests in the comment section down below and I'll see you guys on Instagram or all of my other social platforms. Bye!